Okay, I'm going to share my screen. Please let me know if it is visible. Hope it is visible. Okay. Okay, in yesterday's class, we have seen uh, about the serial data type, right? What is the serial data type? It is a auto generator data type and uh, insert query and the primary key and foreign key relationship right we have already seen what is primary key it is a constraint okay we have added that constraint to our table to ensure that uh, each row in a table has a unique identifier and primary key can also defined on more than one columns it is called as a composite primary key we have already seen and hope you people remember and what is meant by foreign key foreign key is nothing but uh, in, it is used as an uh, in an, another table if the primary key is in used to, is uh, as a foreign key in another table we not to establish the relationship between those two tables right and we are, when you are using the composite primary key as a foreign key then foreign key constraint must be uh, referenced to all the column in the composite key right so and also we have seen the on delete cascade what is mean by on delete cascade if uh, uh, another uh, delete from the or uh, we have seen two examples right uh, book and author we have delete any author table and uh, it is associated with a book table uh, then it will not allow to delete right so this is the uh, uh, thing which we have seen yesterday right <laughs> now what we are going to see is in today's session <clears throat> constraint in order to add more to the constraint uh, other than primary key and foreign key constraint in order to uh, see all the other constraint uh, uh, we are continuing the that continue uh, constraint topic okay uh, so there are what does uh, mean by constraint means see if any constraint uh, it is a rule set of rules okay uh, you are uh, making the data in a restricted way if any user entering the data okay if you are uh, any user entering the data and it is uploaded if it is uploaded in your table then you are restricting your table um uh, with some rules and regulations okay uh, using the query we are uh, going to do that uh, rules using that uh, uh, postgres queries okay sql queries so there are two ways to create a constraint one is uh, while creating the table itself, you can uh, add the constraint. Okay, so like this, we have already seen about uh, uh, the primary key constraint and all yesterday itself. Okay, so this is one of the constraint which we have added uh, during the create table itself. Okay, while creating the table itself, we have added that particular constraint. And one more uh, thing, uh, one more way to add the constraint is alter table. Yeah, yeah, you have already created one table, okay? And after that, you are getting requirement, some requirement. You are uh, you are supposed to extend that uh, requirement of the table, okay? So at that time, you cannot uh, create uh, the table one more time. You cannot drop the table and create uh, the uh, table like that. Uh, you cannot able to do okay after uh, creating the table you need to start from the first so it is not necessary after creating the table without any constraint if you are if you have only some of uh, some more constraint to add uh, then you can use alter table query okay for the existing table which we have created you can add uh, the constraint okay add the constraint using alter table okay so for example uh, uh if i want to tell you about the constraint for example uh yesterday itself we have seen right uh in the order table <clears throat> uh, let us consider the order table and the user table okay so you can ensure that orders um all the orders are given by the users uh, who are in the user table and you should not allow uh, any other user you should not allow any other user who are not in the user table who uh, so suppose uh, the consider that the user who are registered uh, will be in the user table for unregistered user you are not giving the uh, you are not getting the orders from them so in order to ensure that uh, what you have to do 
uh, you need to make a relationship between this order table and user table, right? So those who are uh, in the user table only can able to uh, order and you need to, uh, you should accept that orders only. So in order to do that, where we have already seen about uh, the relationship, how to make the relationship between two tables using primary key and foreign key, right? And uh, one more thing is, uh, you can uh, add some more constraint uh, to that. So if uh, uh, that particular amount, if you are going to enter, you can restrict like this. So numeric 13, comma, this is the data type. Numeric 13, comma, two, <coughs> excuse, is nothing but 13 is a precision, okay? And this is uh, uh, the decimal point next to that. So up to 13 precision, 13 digits, you can allow uh, with the two decimal point. So above that, uh, it is not allowed to enter. <coughs> so these are the constraint, uh, um, basic thing about the constraint. So what are all the constraint we are uh, going to see is, the first thing is primary key and foreign key constraint, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> So yesterday itself, we have seen how to create the primary key and foreign key constraint while creating the table, okay? Now, um, it is also possible after creating the table, if you forgot to add or if you uh, want to extend the con uh, uh, constraint requirement, then you can able to after creating the table if you didn't give this line, okay? If you didn't give this line, okay? I will comment this line. If you didn't give this line while creating the table, then you can, after creating the table, don't want to delete the table and recreate and all. Okay. You can able to add the constraint using alter table command, alter table query. So constraint name, uh, alter table. This is my table name, add constraint. If I want to add any constraint to the table, this add constraint keyword should be used. And this is the constraint name. It is very good practice to use the constraint name in the proper way uh, to uh, give some meaningful name to that constraint. Okay, constraint, I'm going to give primary key or PK constraint. PK constraint for uh, which one you are going to give student ID. Student ID and course ID. So this, this is how you should add uh, the constraint name. So you need to give some meaningful name to this, okay? And um, I'm here adding the primary key constraint to my student ID. You can able to add any number. You can add any number. So this is called as a composite, right? More than one column, I'm giving uh, it as a primary key. I'm combining these two columns. So this is called as composite primary key okay which means the combination of these two should be unique not an individual you cannot give the primary key more than one primary key for the uh, uh, more than one column in the table okay uh, like this student id individually you can, I cannot give like this this is one primary key and this is one primary key so you cannot give like that so one table should contain only one primary key mm, it can be a combination of two columns so that is called as a, a composite primary key, okay? So that is one point you need to keep it in your mind. So using alter table, here I have created the constraint called as primary key. Yesterday we have seen how to create, uh, do the primary key thing uh, using uh, in the create table itself. And now I have altered the table. Uh, uh, using the alter table uh, query, I have added the primary key, okay? So this is how you need to add the primary key using alter table. Similarly, for foreign key also, I can able to do. So this is the syntax. Please uh, keep the syntax in your mind. <clears throat> so for which table we have added the reference key, see here. For the enrollment table, right? For the enrollment table, we have added the reference key. That means a foreign key constraint. Um, it is referring to the student table. So alter table, enrollment, I'm going to alter this table with some constraint. I'm going to add some constraint to this table. So this is a constraint name FK. I like that, uh, the student name, course ID, uh, like the above, you can able to give, okay, FK. 
like this it should be some meaningful name okay so that only you can able to identify if the table has more than uh, one constraint you can able to add any number of constraint to your, your table if it is having more than one constraint then only uh, this constraint name is very useful to identify what kind of constraint is this so you have to give some meaningful name so foreign key and this is my column name okay so this is my column name you can give any number of it uh, since it is a composite uh, <clears throat> since it is a composite foreign key i'm giving the two columns and it is referring to the two columns in the student table right students is the table the name i think yeah students so you have to give like this okay so reference uh, this uh, foreign key refers to which table student table primary key these are the two primary key we have created in the student table and this particular foreign key is referring to the um, student table okay <clears throat> So we have already seen about the relationship. Uh, yesterday we have uh, seen how to uh, do the foreign key thing using the create table. Now, if it is not given, if it is not given uh, in yesterday, so you can able to add like this also. Okay, using alter table. Okay. <clears throat> so here I'm not going to execute this thing because it is already having. <clears throat> um i can able to one thing i can able to do i will drop the constraint and uh, re-add that okay i will show you how to do that see in order to drop the constraint i should use this one okay <clears throat> i just want to check the constraint name so this is the drop drop constraint uh let me open my postgres ps type ps in the search Enter, enter. Everything is default. Password. Okay. So I'm going to connect with my, I'll make it larger. I'm going to con connect with my uh, NM DB class. So this is my database. And here you can see slash D will gives you all the relationship in relation inside the relations is nothing but uh, uh, tables inside the database. So these are things which we have created yesterday. And uh, in students, what is the constraint? What is the primary key constraint name which we have given yesterday? See here, student uh, uh, key is the constraint name. Okay, students key is the primary key. Right? So you can just uh, go here and drop it. <coughs> <clears throat> just drop it and uh, you can able to re-add using this alter table okay <clears throat> so this is the command to drop the constraint <clears throat> okay now let it be uh, we will go for next thing okay <clears throat> Okay, the next thing is after, okay, we have completed the primary key and the foreign key constraint. And now we are moving to the uh, check constraint, okay? So check constraint allow you to uh, specify some condition values uh, of the column must meet. So what it means, see, for example, if you are going to enter uh, 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 your date of birth in some column, Right, it should not not your date of birth, any date of birth in uh, in some column. <clears throat> so, what is the constraint we are going to uh, add? So, it should not be above the uh, um, current date and time. Your date of birth cannot be uh, uh, as a future date. Right, date of birth cannot be uh, given as a future date. Okay, that is one uh, that uh, that is one constraint we can able to add. <clears throat> so then uh, what else if you are a college student or a school student uh, so for that you are going <clears throat> going to make some conditions like um, your uh, grade okay your uh, school grade should be above 70 percentage then only uh, the college will give admission so for that particular student while getting the admission they used to check this constraint 
it should not be allowed okay um, my table should not allow that particular column okay uh, to enter only it meet ups the <clears throat> condition which i am giving then only it should allow so this is another one set of example and uh, what is uh, gender <clears throat> gender column gender column it should not accept other than male or female then uh, what about uh, certain columns like uh, name or uh, address <clears throat> it should not allow um, to enter the limit okay limit of the characters uh, it should not uh, exceed uh, 50 okay um, or uh, for the particular state and uh, city state so the state uh, uh, column it should be in only in the two letters or uh, uh, not above five letters like that you can able to add any number of uh, um, a check constraint so for uh, another example is a discount so for uh, uh, discount column the discount cannot be uh, exceed above 90 percentage right or 80 percentage so you cannot give the discount that much for certain products right you can restrict uh, that uh, entries using the check constraint okay so let us see some example how to create the check constraint see uh, the check constraint also you can able to do it while creating the table okay check constraint you can able to do it while creating the table and this is a syntax create table table name column one column to column three like that you can able to give the condition while creating the table itself okay now uh, what we are going to do is we are going to see some more example <clears throat> of the check constraint uh, using the alter table okay so while creating the table we have seen you see here not null and all we have already seen so what i'm going to do is <clears throat> uh, okay let me take the uh, book table okay book table where is that here is it is right uh, here uh, what i'm going to do is i am going to uh, let us take okay this kindle value right uh, regarding to this kindle value uh, hope you remember it should contain uh, only yes or no right we have already seen this whether that book is uh, having the kindle edition or not whether that book is having ebook edition or not so my entry should be yes or no only it should not accept other than that like y n or any other characters you should not um, allow to accept okay should not allow <clears throat> so what i'm going to do is i'm going to restrict this kindle okay this kindle column it should accept only yes or no okay so this is my column uh, table name alter table which table i want to add constraint this is my constraint name the uh, constraint name should be uh, it is a check constraint, right? So you have to add the name of the constraint. It is a check constraint. Constraint, uh, what constraint it is? It is related to the Kindle. Okay, Kindle, yes or no? Yes or no? So like that, you can give any constraint name. Uh, check column name. What is my column name? This is my column name, Kindle. And here I'm going to give some condition Kindle. Uh, what I can give uh, Kindle in yes or no, right? So inside the quote, yes, comma, no. Inside the single quote, it, it is a string, right? Just close the bracket. And now what I'm going to do is now I'm going to give. See here, alter book the table name, add constraint. I have added one constraint. To the uh, book details now i'm going to see whether the constraint has added or not see here i uh, hope my text size is okay otherwise i will increase it okay see here uh, here the book details it is a primary key constraint which we have added yesterday and check constraint okay check constraint this is my check constraint and it has added uh, as a yes, it will allow only yes or no. 
okay character varying text it will allow only yes or no now what i am going to do is deliberately i am going to uh, insert some some other value for instead of yes i am going to give some other value so this is my insert query hope this uh, author is in the let me check select star from details sorry select star from book details pk right this is my limit limit three so yes k is four four three uh it is i don't know whether it is having or not let me change the author okay otherwise it will raise an error because uh, we are having the relation right we have created a relation between the book details and author in yesterday's class so it will raise an error if that particular author is not there <clears throat> and uh, i have given this b triple zero because if i give anything uh since it is a unique okay since it is a primary key uh, and also it is maintaining the unique constraint so i cannot give the book id as a repeated one it will not allow yesterday class itself we have already seen so which one is a kindle uh one two third one is a kindle right so I'm going to change this as an Y. Instead of yes, I'll change this as an Y. And now I'm going to insert. Now it will raise an error. Okay. See here. Now it is raising an error. What error? New row of the relation book details. Y late. So this is important. Y late check constraint. Yes or no. Okay. It, uh, it is violating the check constraint. Yes or no. So what i have to enter yes or no only i have to enter but i have given y so it will not accept okay let me do one thing i will give no okay yes or no now it will accept so this is a uh, uh, one kind of uh, check constraint so uh, one kind uh, of check constraint you can restrict the user to enter the uh, unwanted values Okay, if you want to maintain some strong uh, um, relationship uh, between these two uh, 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 tables, you have to add the primary key foreign key relationship. If you want to add, <clears throat> um, uh, you, if you want to make your data set, if you want to make your table in a very clear manner, clean manner, okay, you have to do some restrictions, okay so that kind of restrictions is called as uh, this constraint and one of the constraint is called as a uh, check constraint so okay uh, let me add some more check constraint um, to make uh, it in a clear way mm, let us take uh, what else we can take okay here enrollment hmm? <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, the same thing. I will take this for the enrollment. So now what I'm going to do is for the enrollment, I'm going to give my enrollment. I'm going to restrict my enrollment. See, the student enroll, consider my student enrollment is uh, um, uh, the last date for the enrollment is today. Okay, so please consider um, that constraint which you are going to give see i'm copy pasting the <clears throat> table name alter table table name consider my enrollment ends today okay check constraint name what is the uh, check constraint name enrollment enrollment date uh, enrollment date is my constraint name and check enrollment date and here i'm going to give some condition uh, so what is my condition my enrollment date should be less than or equal to today is the last date. Okay, what is today's date? 20, 23, 02, uh, what is it? 24. Okay, 24. 
so alter table table name add constraint what constraint i'm going to add this is my constraint name check constraint i'm going to add so what is the constraint uh, this is the my column name and i'm restricting this column name this column to make sure that the date entered is uh, not above the today's date okay it should not allow the date about today's date, which means I cannot able to enter the tomorrow's date or any other date beyond the today. Okay, it can be uh, below today's date. Okay, <clears throat> so my uh, table got altered. Now I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to check whether my uh, constraint has added or not. So you can see here my constraint got added. So the check constraint got added. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert some enrollment beyond the date. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm adding something beyond today's date. So 27 like that, I'm going to add. So three, okay. So the next month date I have given next month date and what it should do, it should not allow, right? It should not allow. <clears throat> since uh, the enrollment id is uh, primary key it will not allow to repeat the enrollment id right okay okay student id okay the student id and course id the combined student id and course id should be unique see here now what it, uh, it throws an error right violates the check constraint check constraint enrollment date right I have given the date as an, uh, it should be within this range. Okay, uh, it should be within today's, okay, today's within this range. But I have entered this range, so it will not allow me to enter. So I'm entering today's date. Okay, I'm entering, I'm going to enter today's date. And then... <clears throat> Twenty twenty three, right? Zero to twenty four. Now it will allow me to. Uh, what happened? Insert has more target column than the expression. <clears throat> Student ID course. Okay, I have to enter everything. Hundred uh, two thirty five. So I have what error it uh, this this means. Uh, there are three columns. I have mentioned uh, in the insert column, there are three columns, but I have entered only uh, the date so that only it raised an error. <clears throat> Constraint enrollment is not present in the student table. Okay, again. Uh, yes. So here the student ID, which I have entered, right? The student, the primary key and foreign key relationship, right? The Which we have established. So that is restricting me to enter the student ID. ID uh, it is not present in the student table, right? We have created the relationship among them, right? So what I'm doing is I'm just taking the student ID, which is present in the student table. Okay. Here, now I can able to enter. So hope you guys uh, understood the concept of primary key, foreign key, check constraint, everything in this error right why we are restrict why we are doing all these things it is restricting me okay to enter the unwanted or uh, the restricted data okay under uh, i'm creating some rules like this i'm creating the date rules okay i'm creating the uh, uh, relationship between the two table rules and in order to restrict the content <clears throat> So hope you guys clear in check constraint. Okay. So till now, do we have any doubts? Till now, do you have any doubts? Please raise your hand or uh, shall we move on to the next next topic, next constraint? If yes, please raise your hand or give thumbs up. Are you guys comfortable in this, clear in this concept?
please give thumbs up or do you want me to explain it again do you have any questions please put it in the chat box okay please give thumbs up or any hand raise anything are you guys okay good or some one of one or two is responding i think all the others are sleeping huh okay we will move on to the next topic so we have completed the check constraint foreign key and primary key. now uh, this is a not null constraint <clears throat> so you guys very well known about the not null constraint because uh, for the past two days i have given this not null right not null so what this not null will do okay for example here i have entered the not null i have given the not null constraint while creating the table itself okay if not i can able to give during the alter uh, after that also using the alter table okay so the importance of not null is for example uh, here i have given the student id and course id as a not null if i enter okay if i am trying to enter the null value null value is nothing but some blank space i will i didn't enter any value for the student id it will not allow you to enter that record okay because it shows the importance of the student id for this particular table okay similarly for the book table also right we have added the not null constraint so without that book id we cannot able to proceed further right without that book name so if you want to um, uh, enter anything, uh, any, uh, it can be placed anywhere that is a particular column and it shows the important, it should be imposed. Okay, without that column, the entire row is meaningless, right? Without that course ID, without that uh, uh, student ID, anything, um, it is, it, this particular entire row is meaningless without that student. Without student ID, uh, you cannot enroll, right? For which student you are enrolling? <clears throat> so, in order to restrict that uh, uh, null values from the user, we are giving the not null constraint. Okay, for that particular record or column importance. So, for that kind of a columns, we need to give the not null constraint. Okay, so we have added the primary key here, right? So, for, if it is a primary key, then it will automatically will not allow the uh, null values by default. But other than primary key, this is not the primary key, right? This is not the primary key. So, for if you if I want to add other than any column, the primary other than the primary key column, if I want to restrict the uh, null values from the user, then you should add the not null constraint. Okay. So, for example, here uh, these are the two things. Um, uh, using the alter table also, I'll show you how to add using the alter table also. Okay. <clears throat> see here alter table table name so this is the syntax alter column see here what i have given alter column instead of adding i am going to alter the column because i have added that column already okay now i am going to alter that constraint for that column okay so <clears throat> student id if it is not given if the not null i have already given if it is not given then set the student id column into null as null okay so this is how you have to do it in the using the alter table if it is not given in the create table itself okay <clears throat> so now what i am going to do is now i am going to insert uh, some student values okay uh, let me take this so here i have added the not null constraint right here i have added the not null constraint to the student uh, id right student id so while entering the data the student id should not be null the student id should not be null but deliberately what i am going to do is see here the student id and course id both should not be null okay not null okay both should not be null so deliberately what i am going to do is i am going to delete this okay i am going to delete this and i am also going to delete this okay 
I'm going to enter the student grade and value like this. And we will make sure that the constraint is added or not. Yeah. Uh, foreign key constraint and primary key. <clears throat> yes, the primary key course ID, the constraint is there. Let us uh, try to add and uh, see. See here, the student ID violates the not null constraint. See how clear it is giving violates the not null constraint because the student ID and course ID is having the not null constraint here. It should not be null, right? It should be entered. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm going to enter it with the... <clears throat> now it will... Now also it is not going to take, I think, because uh, we have, yeah, duplicate violets key. We have already added this value. It is already there. So the combination of student ID and course ID should not repeat. Okay. Now I'm going to change that combination. <clears throat> uh, it will raise an error, I think, because the student uh, details, which is not in the... Okay, let me see. Yeah, it is accepting because we didn't uh, uh, restrict the student ID, right? So it is accepting. So this is how you have to make a relationship and you have to restrict. So uh, what it uh, what the error raised with respect to our not null constraint, null value column in student ID of the relation student see how clear it is uh, raising an error violates not null constraint so at this at this point what i have to do i have to check the uh, table description okay for this particular row for this uh, sorry for this particular columns they have given the not null constraint so i have to enter all the columns all those columns it should not be null okay so this is how you should add the not null constraint uh, in uh, two ways uh, while creating the table and uh, also while um, uh, after creating the table while uh, alt you can do it uh, using the alter table also okay using the alter table query so this is the syntax so now what we are going to do is uh, the next thing is okay unique constraint Okay, this is also very much important. So unique constraint, enforce the unique values of a column or a group of column across the whole table. It is making, we are making sure that this particular column has only unique values. It is not repeating. So what are all the unique columns you have, um, you you will, if, if you are, see, uh, my email should be unique. If I am entering, if, you are, if I'm going to register uh, uh, somewhere else, my email should be unique my mobile should be unique for that particular user pan card other card so all these things should be unique right as uh, similarly here we have created this right this enrollment id should be unique a uh, student id should be unique the student id should not repeat should not get repeat in this student table okay uh, we cannot allow the more than one student uh, to uh, enter right for the same course so it will create a clash, right, if it is uh, repeating. So in order to uh, get rid of the redundancy uh, problem, we are restricting uh, this uh, uniqueness, okay? this We are imposing this uniqueness <clears throat> in our table using the unique constraint, okay? Using the unique constraint, we are imposing that particular thing. <clears throat> See? Uh, for example, what I'm going to do is, uh, okay, let us take this uh, course, okay? Now I'm going to add, <clears throat> okay, now what I'm going to do is, now I'm going to, this is the syntax, now I'm going to add, okay, for this course name, this is the course master table. This course ID and uh, name should be there, right? This is the serial and um, for the particular college, the course name should not get repeated, right? In the master table, right? 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the unique constraint. Okay, add the unique constraint using the alter table. I'm going to add the unique. You can do it uh, in the create table also. See here, unique column. This is the keyword. Okay, unique column, not null. Like that, you can able to give. Okay, <clears throat> this is the syntax for that. So below this, why if you are if you want to create if you want to create it uh, using the create table while creating the table itself, you can do it like this. So ID should be unique. So or my name should be unique. <clears throat> so like this, you can able to add using this. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I have already created the table, right? So I didn't add uh, this unique constraint while creating the table. What should I do? I need the alter command. So for this course, what I do is uh, constraint name name is course so my course should be unique right name now i'm going to add this constraint i think course table is in our uh, data set let me check yes we are having the course table now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the alter table this course and I have added one constraint and this is my constraint name. What I have added, I have added the unique constraint to that table. So for this particular column, I have added the uniqueness, okay? Slash D, now I'm going to show you. See here, my constraint has added. <clears throat> it has added my constraint, unique constraint has added. For which column? Name column, okay? Now what I'm going to do is we are already having, we are already having some data select star from source. <clears throat> My spelling is wrong. See who you are. Okay, from, sorry. Select star from course. See here, we are already having IT, make triple E, C, civil. Now I have added a unique constraint. What I'm going to do is again, I'm going to add the CSC. Okay, again, I'm going to add the CSA. Now it will raise an error. Okay, see here, duplicate key value violates the constraint name. How clear it is giving? Name equal to CSA already exists. So you cannot give the CSA again because I, have, I am maintaining some uniqueness to this column. To this name column, I am maintaining some uniqueness. So I have added the unique constraint to that particular column. So you cannot enter the uh, name which is already existing. So this is the restriction which it is maintaining. Okay. <clears throat> if you enter anything apart from this, then it will allow you to enter. So for now, it is uh, maintaining the unique constraint. So what else? Uh, unique constraint we have completed, not null completed, primary key, check constraint, everything completed. Okay, we will move on to the next. Uh, let me uh, confirm that. Shall we move on to the next topic? Let me, do you have any doubts regarding to this constraints? Please let me know. Do you have any doubts? Constraint name, uh, how to add a constraint uh, uh, during the create table, how to add constraint to using the alter, what are all the constraints we have seen. So hope you guys are clear in this concept. Please let me know. Do you have any doubts? Please let me know. Okay, good. <clears throat> Okay, we will move on to the next topic. So uh, I will wind up the session after uh, these two things. Okay, uh, we will continue after uh, on Monday with respect to the alter table and all due to time constraint. Okay, okay. Now uh, what we are going to see is drop constraint. So I have already created many constraint, right? In this table and all the other table, I have already created many constraint. What if I want to drop that constraint? Drop means it will remove the constraint. 
okay so for that i am going to see here this is my constraint uh, syntax to remove okay now what i am going to do is see i have created one constraint and now i am going to remove this is my table name and this is my constraint name so inside this uh, table see here inside this table i have created one constraint right slash d course course is in the uh, inside the course table i have created one constraint is called as unique constraint so now i don't want that constraint okay <clears throat> i want to remove that what i will do is course is my table name and i'm going to drop this you have to be very careful with the name okay just to go to the table description and copy the constraint name okay and uh, paste it in the query okay that's how because the constraint name is very big you you might uh, made some mistake in the spelling and all okay now my table got altered now again what i'm going to do is now i'm going to see the table description see here now it got removed my constraint got removed okay now you can ask is that possible to enter uh, uh, the multiple values after removing constraint yes of course it will allow you to enter okay it will allow you to enter you can see the two cscs now it is possible to enter the duplicate values now because i have dropped that constraint it will allow me okay so now you guys got my point why we are adding the constraint because in order to uh, restrict my data within that particular rules and regulations only the user can able to enter the data in order to maintain the cleanliness of a data set i am i can able to add a, any number of constraint to my table okay so this is the purpose of adding the constraint okay now next thing is what if where i want to rename the constraint okay i just want to rename the constraint which i have given so it should contain the constraint name right no so i am again adding the constraint name to this table ah see here could not create the unique index see i am trying to add the constraint again it is not allowing me why because csc is repeated right csc is repeated okay so now what i'm going to do is delete delete from uh, table course where, where uh, what is that name equal to csc it is it should be in the capital letter now i'm going to delete okay delete spelling down maybe delete hmm. So it got deleted. Two CSCs got deleted. Okay, so that's not a problem. And now I'm going to add my constraint again. See, now it has added. So if your table, uh, if your column is already having some duplicate values or any uh, condition which is uh, uh, um, uh, 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 which you are going to give. in your constraint when your that particular column is not following that constraint then it will raise an error you have to clear all those uh, columns okay and if uh, uh, your already existing data is or unclean if you are going to give some restriction to that particular column then uh, you should clean all your datas according to the restriction and then only you can able to add the constraint okay if you want to if uh, okay Uh, what if i want to add uh, uh, by ignoring the existing data so you can able to do that by giving the no check constraint okay no check means the existing data okay it's not uh, uh, it will not uh, check the existing data okay it will just add the constraint and it will see only for the upcoming datas it will not going to bother it is not going to bother for the old datas okay so in that way you can able to restrict in the either way you can able to do so the next thing is what um, i am going to do is i am going to rename right i am going to rename the okay i have already given so i am going to rename this particular constraint 
okay this is my constraint name okay this is my constraint name i want to rename it as a new constraint name okay new constraint name is i can keep it as an course one or course engineering like that course eng so i'm just adding the new name okay i'm just re renaming it for the existing one <clears throat> So here I'm altering the table. So this is my syntax alter table, course rename constraint. This is the old name and this, this is the new name. So here it got altered. Now I'm checking it. So it got altered with the ENG. Okay. So what if when I want to add the multiple constraint, Yes, you can able to add the multiple constraint in the single query. Okay, that can, uh, that can also be done using this alter table. See, alter table, table name. Here, if I give no check, then it will ignore the existing data. And it will add the constraint. It will not consider the existing data. Okay, if it is not given, if this no uh, check is not given, your existing data should be very clean with respect to that constraint. Okay. <clears throat> And also, it will restrict the upcoming data also. For both existing and non-existing, you should not give the, this condition. Okay. So, check condition one. Likewise, if we are here we have added, right? Here we have added the condition. Check condition one and constraint name. Check condition two. Like this, you can able to add any, any number of constraint to your table in the continuous way. Okay. So, hope you guys uh, clear in this concept. Right now, I'm what I'm going to do is now I'm going to okay. Uh, shall we stop recording? I'm going to give you poll questions and exercise. Okay, Rajesh, can we stop the recording? Rajesh, okay, ma'am, okay, please stop the recording. <clears throat>